Through the years, Apple has added some amazing updates to iOS. Even though a lot of features I think are super useful, yet they are underrated and a lot of people tend to forget about them and not actually use them on their devices, even though a lot of those are super useful. Like the live activities, it is a super useful feature. But of course, you need to have the right apps to make it more useful and better. So in today's video, I will show you guys a few of those apps that have some amazing live activities that at the same time are very useful. Like this one right here. It is called a daily weather. And just look how cool that looks on the lock screen. So you will have the weather forecast for the city that you choose or your current location, whichever one you want. And you will have the forecast for the next few hours. So it just looks amazing. You will have the information there, but it also looks really good. So in the app, all you have to do here is of course, have your location services enabled to get your location, or you can just go ahead and tap here and add any city you want, and then it will display the weather forecast for that city right on your lock screen via the live activities. Next up will be tasks. Now with tasks, you can have any task you need to complete right on your lock screen. So you will basically have the app here, which is pretty simple to use. You tap here to add any task you want. Once you have added the tasks, you will see them here. You can of course customize them, choose like different backgrounds here. You can also of course choose the color of the text. And then you can choose if you want to see the task on the lock screen or just the number of tasks that you have and also see the clock or not. Once you have completed that, then you will see this on your lock screen and you can see here how cool that looks. You will have the time to which, from which you have started the tasks and of course the number of tasks will be displayed right here and all the tasks that you have added within the app. All right, this is the next one right here. Super cool, dynamic lyrics. It allows to have the dynamic lyrics right on your lock screen via live activities. So you can connect it with Apple Music or Spotify. And once you have done that, you enable the live activity right there. And once you go to the lock screen of your device, you will now see, if I just go ahead and allow this, I can go ahead and show the lyrics and now just look at that. I have the lyrics of the current playing song right here. How good does that look? It, has, it is actually really awesome. So as I play and pause the music and you can see it does interact to that. So when it's not playing, it won't move. You start playing, it dynamically shows the lyrics of the current playing song. Here's another one that has to do with music. This goes very well with dynamic lyrics. This one is called Control Bar and it allows to have a way more controls on your lock screen. So here we have a few of those. We can tap the edit button and add way more controls. It is really cool. You tap the save button right there and you will have it on your lock screen. So you can see right here, we can also customize the background, of course, choose different colors, choose the tint and also choose the shape of the controls. Now, when we go to the lock screen, there we have it. We can allow this and we will have to actually customize this, change the color so it looks better. There we go. This is much better. Now we have the controls right here. I can go ahead and turn up or down the volume of my device. I so will be able to shuffle here, go backwards or forwards, everything, every control I need. And of course, as you can see right there on the app, it has a lot more so I can add a lot more controls giving me the ability to quickly control my music, my media playing directly from the lock screen. Next up is Activity Builder. Now this is a free app, but it will require a premium subscription, which is actually pretty cheap to basically be able to use every feature that's on the app. But it allows to actually build your own live activity. So you can choose what you want to see on your lock screen, like different notes, text, maybe even photos right there. And you will have the ability to actually use even more features. If we go back home, you can see the device right here. So we can go ahead and see the battery for example, or different information regarding the device. As you can see right here, we have started the battery right here. And if we just go to the lock screen, now we will have the information about the battery. It looks really awesome. As you can see here, really nice look, really nice design. And as you can see right there, you can basically create a ton of different live activities starting from the battery, as you can see right here, the device information, your health steps and all that. You will have the weather, the calendar, your reminders, and even the social media activities right there on your lock screen. 
Next up is shelves. Now with shelves, you will be able to add any picture you want on the lock screen as a live activity. So all you have to do is just tap right here, or if you wanna create a new shelf, you can go ahead and add here the photo. You can even add text if you want to, or maybe, maybe add different actions from here. So if I just tap on add actions, I can go ahead and open link, open an app, or maybe open a screenshot, open a shortcut. So if we go back right here, you can see if I just wanna add a photo, pick there directly from the photos library. And once you have done that, you tap on launch. And when I go right here to my lock screen, there I have it, I can have this picture displaying here as a live activity. Next up is Lock Launcher. Lock Launcher is basically a dock for your lock screen. You can have there your favorite apps, the apps that you need to quickly open. You can now open them directly from the lock screen using the live activity. You tap right here on add action and you can just pick any app you want. You can even add like playlists from your Apple Music app or different websites or maybe even your shortcuts. Once you have done that, you tap that little star right there and tap on activities right there. Make sure you have this enabled. Once it's enabled, you can just go to your lock screen and you will have there basically your second dock allowing you to open any of these apps directly from your lock screen. And last but not least is Live Run. This is very simple. It's just this app with the map right here and it will track your running. So anytime you start running, all you have to do is come into this app and just simply tap on start run. Once you have done that, lock your device and on the lock screen, you will see all your information, your distance, the time here and the pace to which you're running. As easy as that, you can have the most important information right there on your lock screen. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are some of the best live activity apps that you can get for your iPhone, whether you're using the iOS 18 or the new iOS 26 beta, you can actually get these awesome live activities for your iPhone that will make the lock screen of your iPhone more useful and of course have a lot more information on the lock screen. Now of course there are a ton of other apps that are actually very useful and offer great live activity apps but of course these are some of the best that I have been able to find and I think have like features that you can use on daily basis on your iPhone. So that is it. Anything that you want to install here, any app that you like, will be all of them linked right down below in the pinned comment. So if you like any of them, you can go ahead and check the links right there. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button. And of course, subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys on the next one.